Hey, what's up guys? It's Mars here, and uh, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, so I just had a, a slight hiccup where I passed some time here, and I researched, researched, yes, I researched a ninja game. Um, the game is giving me actually a few little problems to record, uh, but not terrible, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it at all. Um, so I think we are going to make a ninja game. It's going to be action for sure, and it's going to be on the PC, because um, if our sales history tells us anything, it's that our PC games are doing better, uh, better than the G64 game did. And now, um, what's a good ninja action game? Uh, we, we will call it Hidden Daggers, which is another sexual innuendo if you want to take it. But then again, so is everything else ever, isn't it? Um, I mean, everything can be taken as that. Um, okay, so our gameplay has to be super high, our story not so much, and our engine uh, relatively good. There you go. I just realized there was something on the bottom here uh, that I'll have to actually check out. Um, okay, so No Risk is off the markets now. It sold uh, 156,000 uh, in sales, which is really good with uh, 22,000 copies. That's actually really good. Let's see, is this our most profitable game? Uh, 125? It only cost us 31 to make? Yeah, that's by far the most uh, profitable game. And the reviews weren't even um, super great. Uh, we, we did gain some fans though. Oh, so the TES has been released today. Awesome. Okay. Um, it's just an action game, so I don't think we need the best um, AI, but we definitely want a little bit of dialogue, not so much. Um, and let's go level design all the way up. Um, we have to uh, we have to get a lot of like stealth in the game, and um, and different like ninja elements to it. So what? Ah, oh, um, okay. So I guess this is just how my screen is set up. Um, y this is cutting off for you guys. Um, Okay, next episode this will be fixed, but for now you can still see what it is. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm actually not playing this full screen, and the reason why is because I had lost about half an hour of, of recordings that last time, and I don't know what happened there. Um, roll design, great. Uh, and we'll go graphics, really good. And the sound, not all that much. It's a ninja game, so there's not going to be a bunch of sound. You're going to play stealthy anyways, so I don't think you have to focus too much on sound. And, um, and okay, so that's about done. Uh, do we have any record here in designer technology? Um, we may yet get some. Oh, he fixed the bugs pretty quick. All right, we'll finish it right here. Um, get this started. Sure enough, we did get a new record in, uh, in our design. All right, we should see a lot of leveling up here. Um, because the first time around, not, not a ton did level up. Oh, actually more than I, I remembered. Uh, to be frank. Alright, so we are going to release the game and then we have to research something right away. Uh, we have 58 research points, so I'll have to research something um, kind of right away. So, oh, we could go with a new game engine. But is that really wise given our money? Uh, if you do make a game engine, it, it costs a lot to use the actual game engine. Um, oh hell, let's just do it. Our first reviews for our newly released game, Hidden Daggers, came in. Please be good. Hey, seven. That's not bad for Ninja Game. Another seven. Beautiful, good game. Ah, Ninja and Action, a great combination. Perfect. Give us a seven, seven? Ah, their focus on level design served this game very well. Awesome. So Hidden Daggers is going to do probably better than our previous games, which is, I mean, that's the way you want to do it, right? Um, you want to do better and better and better. Oh, yeah. Gaining fans. And it um, it broke in the first week the, the top 25 games, so um, that's, that's actually really good. Okay, so now we can create our own. Okay, so that wasn't even creating the engine. Oh, goddamn. Oh. Oh man, I didn't even realize. 
Okay, let's see how costly this is if we add everything. Um, 120k, then we can stick to PC games. Let's do it. I mean, we, we've got nothing to lose. Um, Alright, I'm trying to think of game engine. Okay, uh, the Unreal Engine, which is uh, used by Epic and um, and actually a ton of other companies. Let's go, let's call it the f For Real. We'll, we'll call it the For Real One. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we gotta... Oh, uh, you are now creating your own custom engine. Once the game engine is finished, you'll be able to use it uh, when creating new games. Okay, perfect. So, oh, we do gain some research back by making the engine, uh, which is actually really good. Uh, look at that. It's been seven weeks, six, eight weeks, and it's still in the top 50 games, so it's actually doing quite well. Um, we've pretty much got our money back as well. Oh, that's awesome. Game engine complete for real one is now complete. Congratulations, your first custom game engine is now ready. You should try using it on your next game. Of course we're going to use it on our next game. Uh, Hidden Daggers is now off the market. Uh, it actually didn't do great. It only sold 115,000 uh, in sales. Uh, I, I mean, that's not terrible. I, I can't say it's terrible because it's really not. Um, okay, in the last recordings, I made a spy game that sold very, very, very well. And I don't know if I want to bust it out right now or not, but um, we'll try it. We'll try this. Oh, shit. What? Okay, I'm researching Spy. Oh, my God. I thought... <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was uh, creating just a Spy game with nothing else. All right. So new topic. Spy is research. So develop new game. We are doing it on the for real. It's going to be a Spy action for sure uh, we can't afford that it'll be on the PC and I'm gonna call it the exact same thing I called it Jim bone 009 secret agent dog maybe is it bone it I, I I don't even know um, Jim bone 009 on the for real it's a spy action and um, on the new engine which is awesome uh, yeah, new graphics as well. It's going to be a little bit costly, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, yeah, we definitely want a linear story and able to save game. So I think we're going to focus on the engine because we, we just kind of busted out a new engine. Uh, the story has to be pretty good, but the gameplay has to be great. So, um, story is going to kind of, we'll focus a little bit on the story. Um, a lot on the gameplay and the engine just a little bit. Again that is costing us a bit of money uh, because of the save and everything that we included in the engine but that's okay. Um, that's really okay. Alright, level designs have to be great and the AI have to be great. Um, focus a lot of time there and the dialogue just so-so. Uh, we The sounds and stuff aren't gonna be uh, as important. Oh look at this. Oh, uh, the recently released TS consoles by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Well, if uh, Jim Bone 009 can can actually be like really good, uh, hopefully we can develop for the Ninvento after. Um, one customer says, I love the games that come with the TS and playing with the controller is m much more fun than on a keyboard, of course. Um, some people like the mouse and keyboard, some people like controllers. Uh, me, I'm getting used to the mouse and keyboard, so I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. Okay, graphics, world design, all the way up. Um, let's let's actually focus everything pretty even here. Because I think we haven't focused on sound enough. Maybe if we focus um, on the sound here, uh, we'll actually do really well. Um, again, we'll just iron out the bugs and Jim Bone will be ready to be released. All right. Oh, perfect, 17 and 17. Are, are those new records? Aw, yeah. Great combo. Perfect. So uh, the XP is coming, <laughs> kind of coming out our ass here, uh, which is awesome. And ah, uh, there we go. Our 2D graphics V2 uh, is going up. Tyrion is halfway to level 3. And uh, sure enough, we, d we don't really, we just got to release the game. And um, it's going to go well. 
So, joystick now available. Alright. We constantly want to keep fresh with new- t Oh my god, post-apocalyptic. We are making a zombie game. Oh, yeah. Okay, the first reviews to Jim Bone 009 came in. Ah, uh, Spine Action. Okay, Jim Bone is a hit franchise. Ah. Uh, spine Action, great combination. Love it. Beautiful. Ah, uh, come on. Don't give me a six here. That would be that would be bad. Uh, good game. Well, Star Games, we are going to advertise in your magazine a lot more than these guys because they're shit. Awesome. Oh, look at look at the cell. Jim Bone. I, kn I know it costs a little. Oh, rank 12. Oh, look at that. It's even surpassing the sales in the first week. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I don't think we want to go with any work here because a lot of the time uh, it's really tough and we're not running low on money. Oh, shit. I accepted the. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to be able to fill this contract, to be honest. Oh, we might get it. Uh, the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger games, um, and some with the more mature ages. So, this will allow us to um, focus games on specific age groups to make a, really um, an impact. So if we research target audience, we'll be able to choose what kind of group we want to uh, target the games for, uh, which is awesome. Oh yeah, we actually got it. Um, just what we wanted. We will transfer 24k to your account. Uh, I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. You usually have new contracts every six months. All right. So... We're going with a zombie game. Or, no. Actually, we have to research target audience. It's going to cost us a bit of money and some research points, but um, we'll make a zombie game for mature audiences. And um, we'll have a bunch of gore in it and uh, some, some awesome zombie sounds. I think that'll be really cool. All right, research target audience. Perfect. Um... Also, I wanted to say, if you guys have, oh, okay, if you guys have any idea of any type of game you would want me to do, even a title for a game, um, just let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for, um, we'll make it, we'll make it an RPG zombie game, uh, kind of like Dead Island, just, uh, hopefully we can make it better, uh, I know the, the new one kind of flopped, uh, but... Oh, should we... We're going all out. We're making it for the TES. On the for real. Oh, yeah. Shall we make it for everyone? I think... I think if somebody... Hmm. I think RPGs, a more mature audience is going to like that, and... And I don't really want to release my games to, to kids. Like, I don't want to release a zombie game to kids. So, um, uh, we'll call it, um, Limp Dead. Limp Dead <laughs> Rises. Oh my god. Um, we'll call it Limp Dead Rises, uh, um, where we fight hordes of zombies to eventually defeat Limp Dead. Um, our zombie god king. I I don't even I don't even know. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, so Vena, another Japanese company, uh, is planning to release a home console, uh, which is actually the Sega. Um, I don't I don't think we need a story in. Oh, it's an RPG game. We do want a story. Um. Engine, not so much. Um, I think that'll be fine. Hey, Jim Bone, 236,000 in sales, 33,000 units sold, almost 34. Um, our, our, uh, our 009 game did quite well. Um, I do enjoy the... Oh, what's this? 
Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you like to be, uh, would you be willing to give an interview? Of course we'll give an interview. Great, thank you for your time. Um, we'll publish the interview next week. So this is some exposure that we're getting, uh, which is really good actually. Um, uh, the artif artificial intelligence, the AI has to be really good and level design has to be pretty good. The dialogue though, not all that great. Um, we don't have to focus too much on that because I think the AI is going to be the big thing. We want really smart zombies um, that m move in all kinds of different uh, ways. You, you don't want the same zombies over and over again. Um, okay, so we got some news here. Planet GG has recently published an interview uh, with Legendary Games. According to the interview, uh, the company is working on its first game targeted to mature players. Tyrion, owner and CEO of Legendary Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we're willing to take a risk to give it to them. Uh, that's one thing in the game industry. If you're willing to take a risk and do something a little bit different, you can get paid off for it um, extremely, extremely, extremely well. Um, but there's a right place uh, and a right time for, for everything. Uh, same can be said for the wrong place at the wrong time. So um, if you're willing to take a whisk, uh, if you're willing to take a whisk, yeah, if you if you take a whisk and you beat some eggs up and um, you make a cake, um, you may get a good outcome out of it. That made no sense. It actually it made complete sense. Um, <laughs> taking a whisk and baking a cake is like making a game. Uh, it might be good or it might completely flop and be the worst thing ever. Um, okay, so we're gaining hype uh, because of that interview actually helped us out uh, a little bit. So we're getting hype for the game, which eventually we'll be able to market our game and gain even more hype. Um, I don't know if six is a lot. Like, I don't know if that's six people are excited for the game or if it's just a number. Um, I'm not really sure how that works. Um, zombie sounds have to be great. The world design has to be great. And the graphics, not that much. Uh, we want to focus on an awesome world. Uh, with awesome sounds for it. And, and the, I mean, the graphics can kind of take a back burner for our RPG elements um, as well. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to make any new records in designer technology, but we're not far off at the same time. Um, so Venna has confirmed recent rumor, rumors about... I can't... I cannot talk. I shouldn't be doing this at 5 a.m. Um, about a new gaming console uh, and announced the Master 5. Or the Master V, actually, probably for Venna. Um, the company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento. Again, we're taking a big risk going with Ninvento here, uh, working on the TES, so hopefully it pays off. Um, and hopefully the Limp Dead Rises uh, does really well. Um, there we go. Alright, we'll finish this up. We got some hype. We don't want the hype to go down. If you wait too long to develop a game, uh, the hype can definitely go down. So uh, we have to make sure it, it stays uh, pretty up, actually. Uh, just like Limp Dead Rises will be uh, once it rises. Yeah. All right. Um, everything. Oh, wow. 196 for that. Oh, and a big boost to Tyrion. So he actually might level up again um, next game. Uh, the sound's been good. Everything's pretty good. Uh, we're lacking a little bit story, uh, quest, and dialogue. Maybe we'll want kind of a, a really good game focused on story and quest. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, for now, we're going to release this. Um, what, what's going on? Is it not release? Is it releasing? Uh, we want to research as well. Um, let's get a fan. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to spoil it because I will do it next episode, um, so I don't want to talk about it, but let's just see the initial sales for this, and I will wrap it up here. Oh shit. Ah, shows our first TES game. Uh, well, I guess it's not the worst. It, it could have been worse than that. Uh, we're getting sevens and sixes. Don't go five. Aw, oh, man, you went five. Well, if a 5 is still fun at sh stages, then it's not the end of the world, really. Um, let's just look at the first week of sales. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, that, that was really not good. Alright. 
So yes, Limp Dead Rises have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received good reviews, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target. Okay, which makes sense. The I mean, the TS should have probably been um, not a mature game. I think I think the older players uh, are playing PC. Um, so maybe uh, next time we'll make kind of more or less of a kid's game or a game for everyone. Um, so that this is good to actually to end on. Um, and it's really good that, that we know this now because the information will be super useful uh, in the next coming games, I suppose. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment. Um, if not, a dislike comment, let me know uh, what I could do to improve things. And as well, like I said, if you have any combination of games you want, just uh, leave a comment or you can email me. Uh, the email will be in the description as well. Some people don't like to leave comments, maybe because they're shy or, or whatever. So you can always email me. That's private. Uh, it just goes to me and nobody else will see it. Um, but let me know what game and even a title and I will kind of, uh, you know, I can, I can link your channel in the description or I can shout you out during the video and... Um, and give you props and a margin of our sales um, for for this. Maybe I'll hire you um, when the company gets bigger. Who, who knows? But, um, but yeah, guys. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.